My name is Bonnie Dick, and I'm an employment consultant. Uh, and really one of my passions here today to talk to you is about workforce development. I want to tell you a little bit of a story that happened to me. I think that would really uh, put this in better context. Uh, last fall, I had the opportunity to be nominated and selected as a representative of being one of the oldest valued workers here in the state of Ohio. It was a real eye-opener for me because when I, first of all, I was very excited about the opportunity. Uh, one of my clients at our Employment Connection Center nominated me, and quite frankly, I, I kind of forgot about it. And when I got that call and was told I was rep actually going to be one of the representatives, um, or the representative from the state of Ohio, I was absolutely excited beyond words. Um, this is a group I was nominated for primetime awards, and it was a group called Experience Works that runs this contest every year. But the fun part of all of this was when I went to Washington, D.C., I had a real eye-opener. I mean, talk about workforce development at its best. Well, I, quite frankly, um, I was still 69 years old at the time when I was awarded this, but I was looking at the average age of the recipient as 80. I couldn't believe it when I was there. The oldest award went to a gentleman at 101. So I was kind of like looking in and thinking about all the things that I could aspire to. Uh, and, and quite frankly, I think it was really kind of, when I came back to Cleveland, I really thought, wow, now I can truly begin to work on workforce development. And my true passion was to really tell my story of the importance of the value of the older worker. And being an employment consultant, I deal with people at all levels, from entry level to executive level, and at all age groups. So I really get a feeling about what the importance it is for the value of work, and also the importance of having everyone being able to contribute to that value of work, no matter what age you are. We talk so much about the baby boomers who are going to be retiring. I don't think that's really going to happen as much as we think it is. Because not only are we living longer and uh, we're doing better uh, uh, physically, uh, but we're also in a situation where um, I think we still want to contribute to the workplace. And also, because of everything being so expensive now, people really kind of almost have to stay in the workplace to uh, meet the same level of living standards that they've been accustomed to. But just going back for just for a moment uh, about my passion for the elder worker, I really think it's so important for employers to realize that the real depth of experience that the older worker brings to the table, not only because they've done the work before, but also the mentoring piece. I, I am a big uh, believer that we could be used as a mentor for people who are coming up uh, through the workforce and the other generations. And um, also, I, I think there's just so much more to do. And we are, you know, the myth about older workers not being able to learn, we're out there. We're learning new in, in, in all these tools. So I think it's very, very important for the employer to uh, think about that more seriously.